G'day guys and welcome to another episode. We have rolled in to Townsville. Last left you at Notch Point. I'm not too sure where I've kind of finished it because I haven't put it together yet. But hopefully you would have seen, we had a little bit of weather and a bit of fun on our last day. So we stayed three nights at Notch Point as I'm hoping you might've worked out by now if I put it together correctly. Three nights, we're thinking we're gonna stay there four nights. Uh, we looked at the weather and the weather was actually going to get really bad that night. It was going to rain all night and then into the next day. Camp was really hard to close up in the rain. So we thought, bugger it, we'll close up now. We'll head up early. We'll head up to Mackay. And um, as that happened, it just absolutely bucketed down on us. So we had like half of the things set up, or so not set up, closed up already. So we ended up going inside, bunkering down, and yeah, it was wet. So in the last video, I'm thinking I'm going to put it at the end, so hopefully you've seen that already. Um, it got wet, it got rainy. So we left, we went up to Mackay. Um, we stayed at a lovely little place called Odia, Odia Farmstay, which is about 30 minutes north of Mackay. Ali? Yes. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> there, yeah, about 30 minutes north yep. of Mackay. Yeah. Lovely little farm stay. Someone uh, got up early and uh, stole the GoPro off me and went off and did a little bit on her own, which is fun. So let us know what you think. Well, you are still in bed. <laughs> Morning, guys. I just thought that I would bring you out here to see the sunrise. It's not quite six o'clock in the morning. It's pretty sleepy around here. Max and Polly are still in bed. But there's a couple of clouds on the horizon. So once the sun comes up, I think it'll be really pretty. But I'll show you around a little bit. That's where we're camped, just there. You can see the nav. There's cane. Cane crops everywhere, all around us. There's a new crop coming up there. There's a dam just down there. Cane crop right over there. And the sun's gonna come up just there. So I'll set you up and we can watch the sunrise together. So yeah, that was really lovely um, yeah, in Mackay, but we decided to you know, just chuck the GoPro away for the moment. We just had a little bit of time to ourselves. We kind of needed to rest after that little moment. So it wasn't too bad though, but got it all done. We relaxed, we stayed there for four nights. Um, we went out to Seaforth, Seaforth Ball Bay, and that was it. Yeah, Seaforth Ball Bay, and then we caught up some with some family friends there as well. Rolled up here into Townsville yesterday. We took five hours to get up. Yesterday, stopped a couple of times along the way, did the whole Bowen Mango thing, that the big Bowen, big Bowen Mango, big Mango, it's big Mango, big Mango, stopped there, took some photos. Now Townsville is where Ali did uni. Hi. Didn't you? Yeah. So I'm getting the full tour today. <laughs> so where are we at the moment? Um, we're in Douglas. Uh, I spent six months um, living in a house uh, just down the hill here actually. We're up at the big water tower up, up here um, and we've got a really nice view out and we can see the unis just out here. But yeah, I did four years in Townsville, 
So next stop is the university and then we're going to head over towards the Strand and we're going to head up Castle Hill um, and see the view from Castle Hill and yeah, see what else we can get up to. Are you excited Polly? Are ya? Okay, that's a, I think that's a yes. <laughs> so we'll have a bit of a look around. Yep. We'll show you around. If there's anything interesting along the way, I'll show you. I don't know if you all want to see where Ali's been as well. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I'm interested, so we'll have a look. This is a lovely little outlook at the moment, but uh, yeah, we'll see where we end up. Suburban streets, and what I've got down there, a little Joe in his pouch. In his pouch, her pouch. Her pouch. Her pouch. Bale wants to chase her. Stop it, Bale. You're crazy. Oh, what? You don't want to go on to it? Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Good, oh, yeah! No. <laughs> it's okay! We found Polly can sometimes be a little bit scared of like storm drains. Yeah. And like grates and things like that. Anything with like water in it for some reason. So. Well, done a little bit of research and we. I think it's the sound of the water moving underneath um, and she can hear it because apparently it's a very common thing in dogs and especially in border collies so I don't know. It'd be a wuss. You know your supercars? We're on the front straight. Look at us go. Ah. That's the pits. Pits and everything through there. You can just probably see the lines on the road at the moment. Pretty cool. And you're driving. I don't want to be driving. Sorry. <laughs> Pretty cool when you think about it. Like this finished like two days ago. It's Tuesday. Tuesday today they were racing here. So it was today, Sunday. They're racing here on Sunday. We're already driving through, so hell of an operation. We've just stopped for lunch on the Strand. Yes, the Strand. We're sitting on the beach here. I've just had half of the tour of Townsville. Mainly the uni. The uni yeah. and where I used to live and the river. Oh yeah, the river as well. We went down the river. I've showed you that already. Yeah. Um, for someone that hasn't been to uni and really had much experience with them, I didn't realise they were so big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it's just common knowledge and it's just me, but hey, I, it was it was cool. Are we going to go check out Castle Hill later on tonight? Um, yeah, so we're going to catch up with some of my friends this afternoon. Oh yeah, we're coming back here. Um, <clears throat> then we're going to head up Castle Hill tonight and then tomorrow we're going to do the goat track um, up Castle Hill and we're probably going to die from Exhaustion. Get some exercise going. Get some exercise. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to do that in the morning. Uh, and then maybe head out to Harvey's Range to the tea rooms out there. Uh, and look at the beautiful. So. Ow, ants everywhere. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll I, don't, see. I don't know where any of these things are. So this is fun. This is good. Yeah. Getting like a local tour experience. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll probably just go for a little stroll, we'll head on back, probably back to the 
caravan park. It's actually a really nice little park, so I'll show you around when we get back. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna do some washing. <laughs> we need some washing to do. It's been a while. But yeah, and then we'll um yeah, then we'll probably come back here this afternoon. That's Castle Hill, and we're walking up that tomorrow morning. Yeah, we'll see how we go for time, but yeah. Would you believe that this is only the second caravan park we've actually stayed at? Um, but it's actually quite nice. I'm actually standing in here at the moment at the little dog run. We're just about to head back out to the Strand again um, to catch up with all of uh, Ali's uni friends. But just making sure she doesn't want to do a piggy or anything. But we are over there. And then they've got this little thing, which is a little fenced dog run all the way along. And she loves it. Polly, don't ya? Yeah, good girl. Castle Hill. So we're doing the, what is it? Goat track? The goat track. We're going for like 10 meters so far. I'm knackered already. <laughs> and we're here. And are we going right up to the top there? Yep. Up yep. to there. So it's stairs, stairs and rocks or? Yes. <laughs> I'm so unfit. <laughs> How you doing Polly? Polly's good. She's my sled dog. This is unfortunately in the flight path of the airport so I couldn't bring the drone up and get cool epic drone shot things. But we'll take you along and see what it looks like up the top. I was getting this story before. There is, I don't know if you might be able to see it. There's actually a bit of graffiti right up the top there. It's like a stick man. Or woman, stick man or woman. Apparently it's been up there for many many years now and apparently is now maintained and it's just part of the thing now i don't know how they did it but it looks cool i like it Yeah, it's, this is hard. So apparently this is the killer part of the track. There is, at least down there, probably, oh, 50. I don't know if you can see her. She's being an idiot. I think it's what, 50? I don't know, it's not even that. Probably 20 meters, little halfway point. And you still gotta keep going. Hey, Polly. You can care less, you're happy. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> I 
I'm assuming this is halfway. Halfway up the stairs. the last little bit of stairs. Okay, I can do it. Here's the road. Up the road for this last little bit and then we reach the top. This is the top of Castle Hill. We're going walking out to the edge out there. How'd you go? Yeah. You were miles ahead of me though. And she did really well. This way. We're going all the way out here. top of Castle Hill there is like another little more of a top bit up there but this is top enough. Do you want to go up there and say it again? <laughs> no. Are you sure? Yes. This <laughs> is like the outermost edge. I'm not sure if you can feel the wind. I feel the wind, hear the wind at the moment but it's pretty windy up here. But you can actually see our car down there somewhere. Polly! Amazing, you tired? So we're just heading back down now but we're heading down the roadway just because it's so much easier. Now we, you're down on the other side of the mountain now and I don't know if you can actually see, you can actually see as it goes behind the tree the supercars track. So it would be pretty cool to come down, I mean, you can't see it now at all, but it's behind those trees down over there. Here's a little supercars truck. All right, just got back in the car. We have done the Castle Hill, hill track, <laughs> track hill. Uh, not too bad, actually. Oh, yeah, feels too good. we made it. Feels good. So, gonna go find some breakfast now. We're gonna go back onto the strand, have a bit of a look, actually eat something, because it's 10 o'clock and I've had a banana. <laughs> I'm hungry. Polly's had her breakfast. She's knackered though. She's had a massive drink of water. Aren't you, girl? She's a good girl. Alright. And then we're going to go up the Harvey Range? Harvey Range, yeah. We'll give the tea rooms a call and see if they, they've got room for us. Okay. We'll go for a look up there, so. Yeah. Where have we just stopped for breakfast? We've stopped at Julius. It's right on the strand. And it's one of my favourite places to go. Yeah. This is where we were for dinner last night as well when we caught up with all of Ali's friends. There's a little seafood joint right there on the corner called Harold's do really good fish and chips. But I'm gonna tuck into that because I am hungry.
So it's the next day and we're up at the Harvey Range Tea Rooms at the moment. We didn't get there yesterday afternoon because we got back to camp and we decided just to have a rest for the rest of the Arvo anyway. Um, so that's it for this episode. Um, thanks for watching. We're going to continue heading north. So until next time, thank you so much. Um, and we're going to enjoy these scones with jam and cream now.